Hi guys, it's Millie. Welcome back to another video. Do not be deterred by my surroundings. Do not get me wrong, this is a vlog of Queensland and living in a camper van in Queensland. I just forgot to make an introduction. Um, so we start my vlog in Noosa and then we finish it up in Burley Heads. We also visited Australia Zoo in the middle. So if you want to watch that vlog, I did a separate one. You can watch it here. Um, here. Uh, we spent about seven days in Queensland exploring, so I hope you enjoy and let's get straight into the video. So we have just, so we've just pulled up to Noosa, we've just parked the car and we're going to have a little explore of the town and Noosa main beach. We've been to Noosa two years ago for like one day. Tom, that's where we went to the remember? We're just saying that last time we were here is when COVID first started, like we only just got to Australia. So we were like, oh, maybe we should just go and buy some anti -vac. And there was only like two cases in the whole of Australia. And the lady was like, gosh, it's so funny. Everybody's been buying them at the moment. And like, she hadn't, like, she wasn't aware of what was going on because it was only a tiny thing yet. Two years later. I'm taking the video, Tom, one second. <laughs> So this is New Noosa Main Beach. It goes all the way over there. So we're gonna have a dip. And then over there is um, Little Cove Beach. So we're gonna have a walk and a wander. So if you just walk around the corner to the right from the main beach, it comes to another little beach, which is called Little Cove. And it's a bit more sheltered, a bit more private, and the waves are a bit less big. So we're gonna have another little swim here. Good morning guys, uh, second day in Noosa today. Um, so it's meant to be raining this afternoon, but at the moment we've just arrived in Nooseville where we're gonna have some breakfast. And then all along here, Nooseville is sort of like backed onto this um, harbor. It's the sea, but I think it's like, it, it's sheltered. And basically you can um, hire jet skis or paddle boards or kayaks. Um, I really, really want to hire a jet ski. So potentially we're gonna do that after breakfast. Keep you up to date. One breakfast stack, ice latte, cappuccino, classic eggs, Benny. It's the depot. Okay, guys, we finished off our breakfast. GoPro, sorry. Okay, yeah, I get it. We finished our breakfast and we're going to hire some jet skis. We found a company, it's $90 for half an hour. Wish us luck. So, this is the company that we're going with. It's U Drive Boat Hire in Noosa Valley. Um, yeah, super cheap pricing to be honest. So we finished with the jet skis, there was so much fun. My hair is like an absolute solid mess now because you don't realise that you get absolutely soaked when you're on them. But we've just pulled back up to Noosa Town um, and we're going to have a little walk right where we were yesterday by like Little Cove Beach. If you keep walking along, you actually get into like the National Park, Noosa National Park, and there's a few more little beaches and there's this place called um fairy pools which is like a little rock pool as well so we're going to see if we can find that today so it just leads you all the way around the coast which is such a pretty walk and it's like there sorry about that and i don't know why it said it's gonna rain because there's definitely not a cloud in the sky apart from that one so this is one of the first little beaches in the National Park called Tea Tree Bay. It's a really um, popular surfing one, so they've got the surfing rules. We're going to continue on because I believe the ferry pools are like round the corner. They weren't actually on the like little National Park board, so I feel like it must be like a, like a little hidden one. It's okay. We're still at Tea Tree Bay and there's a warning sign for kookaburras because they sweep you in the area. Look how cool it is. It's so pretty. Next little point is point, <laughs> pardon the pun, is Dolphin Point. Apparently you can see dolphins riding the waves. We haven't had any luck so far, so let's see. Well I jinxed it. Uh it wasn't raining <laughs> and now it is. It said it was gonna rain like three to four today, but it's so weird because it's really hot, but the actual rain itself is quite cold. So it's confusing, you don't know whether to put on clothes, take off clothes. <sighs> Hello guys, my ending yesterday was quite abrupt because basically after it started to rain, we just basically found like a sheltered area by the beach, sat down and just read our books and then we went back to the campsite. 
um, like checked in and all that good stuff. Um, but this morning, so our campsite was in Coolum Beach, um, and we are actually still here this morning. It's like nine o'clock. Oh my god, it's so bright. Um, so I've just come down for a little walk to the beach. Just gonna sit and read my book. We're gonna try and go to the farmers market um, if we can get there before it finishes. But I'll just show you what Coolum Beach is like. It's like twenty minutes outside of. It's like twenty minutes outside of Noosa. So windy, sorry. So this is cool. To be honest, you'll notice I think it looks a bit like Circus Paradise. Um, but yeah, the sun is trying to come through. We're meant to have sun until 3 o'clock and then it's meant to start raining again. So fingers crossed. Right, so we've just parked up at the uh, Noosa Market. So the entrance is over there. It is absolutely rammed. So the parking goes all the way around and you've just got to drive like really really slowly to try and find a spot basically um so yeah i'm just gonna have a little explore of the market i say me because thomas stayed in the van for some work stuff i'm gonna have a look on my own <laughs> up at the farmer's market so we're just walking back to the van now it's um goes on it's on ugh, it's from us on a sunday goes from 6 a.m to 12 p.m but the thing is 99 percent of the stores there are like lunch stores so like pizzas bao buns like curries like all freshly made and amazing but like we we just got a bao bun at 10 a.m in the morning and then got some pancakes afterwards and a coffee it's just like the roguest breakfast i've ever had <laughs> and then just brought the world's most giant banana to try and counteract the um, pancakes. So yeah, I think I'm gonna head to a beach now. I'll probably go back to Noosa town because this is in Noosaville, uh, which is slightly out. Good morning, guys. So it's actually been about two days since I have last spoken to you because we're still in Queensland, but yesterday we went to Australia Zoo. Um, it's about 50 minutes drive down from Noosa, which is where we were when we last chatted. Um, and now we are in Burley Heads. Um, I will post the Australia Zoo vlog here, so you can click it if you want to watch it. Because I did a whole vlog on that because I knew that I wanted, I wanted to take like so much footage of all the animals. <laughs> it was an amazing day. Um, but yeah, at the moment we are in Burley Heads. We are staying in Miami. Uh, we've just got a coffee, and we're going to walk to Burley Heads Beach now. Sorry, I just skimmed over that last bit because we were <laughs> getting into a busy area. So we last chatted two days ago. And then yesterday we drove down to Australia Zoo, which is 50 minutes away from Noosa. And then after spending the day at the zoo, we drove two hours and 20 minutes down to Burley Heads, which is where we are now. And we will be here for the next four days. Like I said, we're staying in a like campsite in Miami, which is um, just to the side of Burley Heads. But it's nice because it's all walking distance. So this is our first morning. We've had a very lazy morning. It's like 11 a.m. now. We're going to just walk to the beach and explore our surroundings a little bit so this is miami beach <laughs> it's so funny because then i'm googling what to do in miami it keeps coming up with america obviously a little bit overcast today um but it's meant to pick up tomorrow is not meant to be too bad and then the next couple of days after that's meant to be really sunny i'm getting my hair cut tomorrow which is a luxury and i've also booked in to get a tattoo friday morning so i will show you that as well if I go through with it. So this in front of us is Miami Beach. Um, we've just walked all along the edge and then you go up the boardwalk and then you have just different views from this side and then just around the corner is North Burley um, and then Burley Heads. So we've reached um, North Burley so we're just walking down now. Very cute like just by the boardwalk and then this um, sea is just over there. Um, but yeah, a little walk. So this is Burley Head Beach. I'm saying Burley Heads Beach, but I'm not sure if it's heads. And this is like the town. We came here two years ago and it has forever, like we've forever wanted to revisit because we loved it so much. 
So we've just walked all the way along in front of Burley Heads and we're actually at the National Park, which we weren't planning on doing for a, a day, but we're gonna do a little lookout. What's it called, Tom? Where's the lookout? Uh, the one that I wanted to do was Tom Gun Lockout, but looks like you can't. Oh, um... let's do the cove lookout, maybe. Yeah, that's just down there. Okay. It's very, very steep. <laughs> oh. Very, very steep. Made it to the first lookout. It looks so grey. I mean, it is grey, but it's very interesting. That's what it used to look at, look like. And now there's all those buildings. This is probably the fourth or fifth one we've seen today. They just chill. Earlier there was one literally in the middle of the thingy. Almost trod on its tail. Didn't even care. It's very, very windy. I'm very sorry. nice from the hot walk. Good morning guys, um, we got up early today because I had a hair appointment <laughs> in the surfers paradise at nine o'clock so I've just got my hair done and now we've just parked up and we're going to explore surfers paradise for a little bit. Um, the sun is shining obviously um, so yeah we have just parked up and we're gonna, I don't even know where we've parked up but I'll show you. This beach that we're on at the moment is called um, Harawa Beach it's absolutely huge I think the name changes like the further you get down but you can see like the surface paradise sort of skyline in the background I feel like that's what it's famous for like you see that skyline and you know that it's surface paradise and then this way you've got the clouds this way so let's not look this way but yes yeah, so we're just gonna have a wander along here um, we parked the car up for a few hours so we'll just see what we can find all right, so it wasn't actually Surface Paradise that we were just at. It was called Karawara Beach. And it was just like in the distance, what I showed you, that was Surface Paradise. Um, so we've just parked up there now and I will show you the town, city. It's just full of all these high rise, um, like hotel blocks and like apartments and hotels. It's funny because it looks like a CBD, but it's not. It's it's all like hotels <laughs> so we've just hopped back in the car and we are just going to be driving 40 minutes to Kulungotta beach which is obviously on the gold coast still near burley heads um surface paradise is it's not one of my favorite places to be perfectly honest it's quite touristy um and i i am a tourist so i completely understand that but i mean i think it's like a tourist destination for everybody in australia so australians themselves um it's just very like commercialized which is totally fine but obviously we've not had any of that on this trip like that's not really i sound so cliche it's not really like the vibe of our trip like to have so many people around and like so many like massive shopping centers and like uh, like holiday resorts and stuff so it's it was yeah it was nice to see it but it's not really uh where we're looking to spend our time so we're gonna go a little bit somewhere a little bit more remote um and carry on the day there okay so we've just arrived to Kulan Kulangata Kulangata I believe I pronounced that right uh the beach love it always fresh showers um at any beach you will go to mostly here we go lots of people with foam little surfboards over here and just natural 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 and just normal surfboards so we're gonna stay here for the next i would say like maybe the next couple of hours because we haven't had a sun uh, a sunny day what is wrong with me i can't say speak properly we haven't had a tanning day in a while so it's our last few days in Australia till we head back to England for our holiday bops. So let's try and get as much of a tan in as possible. So this is an amazing food and clothes market that we went to this evening. It's called Miami Marquetta. Um, so it's in Miami in Queensland. Um, it has amazing food. I had like a giant bowl of pasta. Tom got bao buns and then we had a massive brownie. Um, but if, yeah, if you're in the area, I would highly recommend. Just to show you Burley in the sunshine, because it's very pretty. You've got the town over there. Right there is where I'm gonna be getting my tattoo in the morning. Um, and then this is like the little picnic area. They've got little barbecues and you can park up here. And then this just leads down to the main 
um, Burley Beach, which is where we are headed for the next couple of hours. This is Burley Heads Beach. So I'm really sorry for the abrupt ending of this vlog. I feel like because it was, I did it over so many days, I wasn't really good at being like, showing you what we we're doing every day and I didn't want to like repeat like I'm sunbathing I'm on a beach I'm sunbathing I'm on a beach so I just sort of showed you the new bits and bobs that we were doing every single day but yeah we finished our day in Burley Heads um the next day the next morning I got my tattoo I'll put a little picture in if you're interested um and then after that we headed back up to Brisbane um to finish the end of our trip and spend some time in Brisbane um which will be obviously coming in another vlog but that's pretty much it for this week's video so I hope you've enjoyed thank you for watching and I'll see you next week bye